Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Okay, good. Veronica, how are you? Hi. How are you today? Good? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, fine. Great. Okay, so we have Eliel, we have Santos, Walter. Janet is here too. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yes? Okay, good. Thank you, Vladimir. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, fine. So now we can get it started. I don't know what's going on. Okay, now we're going to okay this is where where we stopped yesterday okay Alan can you do me a favor I and, read, no and read the instructions here please Yes, and instructions. Instructions. Unscrub instructions. Instructions. Unscrub the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Example: Have you did some work at school? Equal. Equal. No. Uh huh. Yes. Equal. Equal. Did you have a good summer? Okay. What would be the correct question here? Did you? Uh huh. Did you have? No, this one, this one. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Did you watch? Did you watch television last night? Okay. okay. Yes. Did you watch television last night? Last night. Okay. What would be the answer for the second one? Did you have? Dinner last night. Dinner. Okay. Did you have dinner? Have a dinner last night. Did you have dinner last night? Did you dinner last Did night? Did you have dine, dinner last night? Dinner. Dinner. Dinner last night. Yes. Okay. Did you have to work yesterday? Yeah. Did did it? Did you oh, did go uh -huh. to work? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you? Did you, did you go to work? Go to work? Go to work yesterday? To work. Did you go to work yesterday? Okay, good. And the last one? Um, 
Did they go to the movie? Don't go to the movies Wednesday. Did you got? Did they? Did they go to the movie? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Now here you can compare the answers. Okay. Did you watch television last night? So you can use the capital D or you can use it without the capital D, right? With small case. So did you watch television last night? Capital or not capital? Did you have dinner last night? Okay. Did you have dinner last night? You can also use the capital D. Did you go to work yesterday? Okay, or did you work? Did you go to work yesterday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Or did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Okay, so if you see here, you have watch to watch television to the sentence, you have to add did. Okay, and then you have. A question form. Okay, you watch television last night? And then you say, did you watch television last night? Verb or auxiliary verb, the subject, which is you, and then the main, the principal verb. Okay, watch tells you the action that we are talking about in the past okay you can you can say for example did you did you go jogging this afternoon did it rain this afternoon did it rain last night so we're talking about the rain okay so this is the verb that tells you the action Okay, that we are going to use. Okay, did you, let's see, did you buy, did you buy the new car? Did you buy a new car? And then you have all the actions. So we submit it. And you can see that now all of them are correct, right? Did you watch television last night? Did you have dinner last night? Did you go to work yesterday? And did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Now, when you do the exercise, these exercises with these boxes, be careful about the spaces, right? Look, then when you have an space, an extra space, it, it doesn't recognize it, right? So you have to make sure you are using the correct format, right? And then you got it. There you got it, okay? So you have to be very careful when you are writing these exercises. And also you have to make sure that you are using the question mark. Don't forget the question mark, okay? If you don't use the question mark, then it will tell you that it is incorrect, okay? Questions? No problem? No. No, okay. All right. So then now, okay, what about, uh, let's see, Tatiana, can you please read the lesson objective that we have here? Yes. Okay, read it. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discuss, discussing summer activities. Okay, what are the summer activities? Here we have some summer activities, okay, or expressions that we usually use in, en in English.
No se escucha, teacher. You don't hear? No. No. Ahorita lo acabo de tener. Let me see. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocab. Do you hear now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Be a movie. Be a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, <clears throat> and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class, your experience. Whenever you have finished. Okay, so here, what we have to do is to find the words from here that match with the verb that we have here. Have, meet, play, see, and take. Uh, they already use hiking and swimming. Remember that the activities, outdoor activities, Okay, when you go out or you are talking about some uh, activities that you're going to do, then you can say, for example, go hiking, go swimming, uh, go dancing, okay, uh, go, let me see, uh, go flying kites, okay, polar uh, piscuchas, right? Um, go, what else? Go go running, go jogging, go driving, okay? So then you're gonna use go plus the action that you are going to do. Then when we have have, when we have, Share. Uh, with the verb have, you can use what words from here? Have? Fun. Fun. Have plus. fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Okay, have fun and have a picnic. Have a picnic. Okay, have fun or have a picnic. Okay, for example, I'm going to have a picnic in my in the garden of my house. Okay, when you talk about meet. Okay. Old friends. Thank you. Okay. Uh, meet new people. Old new friends. people or, friends. or old, old friends. Old friends. New people. New and people old or friends. friends. Yes, this too. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Okay. Your Play. work in our Play. Volleyball. Play ten. Tennis. Tennis. Volleyball. Play Play tennis and volleyball. Okay, then you can use also play poker, play cards, play play chess, play, chess, play monopoly. Okay, and all those words. See. A movie. See a movie. See a movie. See a movie. A class. No. Play. Yeah, play. See a play. Victory. Play. See a movie or see a play. 
a play is like in the theater, right? In the theater, where you can go and see, uh, let's say, una obra teatral, right? See a play. Okay. So in this case, play is the action, but here it is a noun. Okay. Excuse me. This action, this is noun. Mm -hmm. Say a class. No. Hmm? Take a class. Take no. a class. Yes, take a class. Or take pictures. <laughs> take a picture. Take Pictures, pictures, okay. Take pictures, take selfie, selfies, okay, and all that. That's take pictures. It's correct uh, to go to the opera or see the opera. Go to the opera. Go to the opera. You can go to the opera. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like like a song. White white song. Like. Like a white soul. In Spanish, it's ne blanco. Swan, oh, swan. Swan, swan, is swan. White swan, uh -huh. the white swan. White yes. swan, thank you. Yes. Okay, you can go to the opera, right? And what else? And remember that also you can see it because the opera sometimes they are also like, son como obras too, right? That you can see the acting, okay, in the operas. Okay, what else? Mm. More vocabulary here? Okay, for example, meet, when you say meet new people, meet old friends, what other uh, people or words we can use after meet? For meet example, new job or meet new boss, for example. Meet, meet the new boss, uh -huh. meet the new boss, mm -hmm. meet, a co <laughs> meet a cousin. Meet a new teacher. Meet a new ah. teacher, uh -huh. oh. yes. <laughs> Uh, a new uh, classmate and meet, meet a new classmate or co-workers meet co meet uh co-work how uh, with the co meet co-workers uh, meet all neighbor neighborhood or meet the neighbors uh, meet neighbors. Neighbors. neighbors all neighbors yes also you can meet uh, your husband your wife okay meet with the ex <laughs> meet your ex. Yeah, you can probably meet your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend, your ex-husband, your ex-wife, whatever, yes. Okay, you can meet people. You can meet also famous people, right? You can meet famous people, meet actors, actresses, singers, okay? So you can just write the name, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. I understand a little, but I, can, you, can you write some song sample please here you're gonna use only about let me see because uh, if i write uh, okay you can say Meet my cousin. Okay. For example, I have to meet my cousin tomorrow. Meet my family. Relatives. Uh huh. Meet some relatives. Uh huh. Uncles, cousins. Okay. Meet. Uh, what else? My daughter and my son. Mm -hmm. Meet my, somebody told me, oh, neighbors, right? Meet my neighbors. He told me this one. Meet my neighbors. On Saturday, I have to meet, I have to meet my neighbors. Okay, this is when you have a meeting or a party or just to have a conversation with them. Okay, that is meet. But remember, also you can have fun. Oops, sorry. Meet with the people who with, are in my cluster. Uh, <laughs> yes, meet your cluster only. Uh, just that. Oh. Yes, meet your group, meet your cluster. Okay, have. Then you can say have fun, 
have a picnic, what else? Have a party, a half have break, a have a good day, have breakfast, a have lunch, have dinner, a have a couple of beers, right? Have a meet. Uh, have a meeting, uh -huh. I'm going to have a meeting. meeting uh -huh. Yes, have a meeting, okay. Then you can also use this one, right? Have uh, drinks. Take drinks. Have uh, hey, what? Drinks. Have a hey, meeting. Okay. Have you? Well, you can have dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have dreams. You have your own dreams. Or also, you can have some drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have some drinks. Okay. Have some beers. Okay. Okay. So then these are different words that you can use using have. Okay, have a party, uh, have, have a talk. Okay, tener una plática, right? A conversation with somebody, okay? We need to have a talk, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so these are, you know, different phrases. So you see, not only with these two, right? That's what it says here, the word power. The word power is because if you see only with these words, you can move how many examples did I give you here? I give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Okay, so, and we can have more. Okay, for example, uh, when you have a uh, play, okay, here say play tennis, play volleyball, and you can practice all the vocabulary with all the sports. Play golf, play, uh, what else? Table uh, tennis. Play table tennis, play soccer, uh, play um, hockey. Basketball. Uh, basketball, okay, uh, what else, what else? Play Mika. Play it. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> play. That's another one that you can say. Uh, play hide and seek, escondelero, right? Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Okay, cups and rovers. Play with my sister, teacher. Play. White, my uh, sister. Yes, it could be. It could be, but play. But you are play. Play, play what? Here is more mostly what, oh, mm -hmm. for example, uh -huh. play. Okay. I mean, the, the sentence is correct. I have I play with my sister, right? You know, uh -huh. it's correct. But using objects, play what? Play cards. Play play, play video games. Play video games. Uh -huh. Play uh, mm -hmm. play what? Uh, play. Uh, there is another one that I play music. Okay, you can play music, right? play some music um, well you see that I mean anything that can imagine and you can practice with vocabulary you can also say oh play the video uh, play the video so right now for example I, I stop the video but I can play also the video okay right now yeah. uh, play this is also play right play video play video games play video okay. musical play football play football all right, and then we have C, see a movie, see pictures, okay, you can also say, uh, you know, sometimes I, uh, I sit down in the living room of my house and I see the, the photo album that I have and I see the pictures. I see pictures of my- See one video in YouTube? See a video, uh-huh. For example, you can see this, the videos of these classes on the playlist in YouTube, right? You can see the videos, uh-huh, see a video. Okay, 
what else? See, you can see your friends when you go out, uh, or you can see your friends this weekend. You can see the friends that you have in your, see your friends in your chat. See how many, if you post, if you post a picture uh, on Facebook, okay, then after that you can see how many likes you get. Okay. See the stars. What? See the stars. See the stars. See the stars, correct. See the, see the sky. See the rain when it's raining, right? Sometimes in the afternoon. Yes. It's relaxing to see the rain. Yes. See, see, the see some rain. birds in the morning. On see? The tree. Some birds. Ah, see the, the birds. Uh -huh. Yes, see birds. And listen, it's exciting. Uh huh. See and listen to the birds. Yes. Okay. And then you have take, right? Take lunch, take pictures, uh, take, um, take a break. Take, take a long walk. Walk. A long walk, uh-huh. Take what? Take a laptop. Take a la uh -huh. take a laptop, yes. Take a when you go when you go to the supermarket and you have to stand in line, say take a number. Right? Take a number and wait and wait. Uh, take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. Okay. So you see, um, with this kind of uh, exercise, you can practice a lot of vocabulary that you already know. Okay. So here, for example, is the last. Uh -huh. The last time I went uh, to the movies with my old friends. I had a very good experience. I played soccer and tennis. Okay, this is another one. I can remember the last time I went to the movie. I think it was Titanic. The last time I went to the movies, I had a very bad experience. There was a lot of little boys crying and I couldn't enjoy the film. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. I hate it when that happens. Remember I hate it? <laughs> yes. I hate it when that happens. You cannot enjoy the movie. Okay, good. Uh, then, now that we have practiced this vocabulary here, we're going to read. Say, by the end of this class, you will develop the skills in reading for main ideas and details. Remember that, right? Main ideas and details. Hi, in this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I have. Okay. Can you had understand? a great weekend. Is the, is the sound okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, apagen su micrófono para que no haya interferencia, okay? Now, listen again. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, now here we go. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. 
We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After. Okay. Now let's see the. Check the vocabulary and see if you have any questions about the vocabulary, phrases, or expressions. Uh, this little information that we have about Kelly, Robert, or Aaron. Okay. Questions. Wedding, wedding, wedding. Wedding. Sí. It's the, the moment that a man and a woman get married. Okay? In the church. For example, if you are Catholic, there's a Catholic, then you go to the church, and then you have a wedding. The man and the woman get married. Okay? Oh, okay. Also in the, well, in all the churches, right? Different religions. There is a wedding. The union of the men, of a man and a woman. Oh, that's the idea. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. When they get together, yes, it's the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Ceremony. Right. Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Broke down. He just uses for for when the car is is on problem. Just for for the car or in another no. context. The, the computer too. My okay. car broke down, yes. Okay. And different objects, yes. This is when mm -hmm. something stops working. To working. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, it stops working. Doesn't matter the, the problem is inside in order uh -huh. for, a, for a crash. That, yeah. This is broke down, okay. Broke down is most, um, it's mostly when something stops working, right? Like, for example, that the computer, uh, the microphone broke down, it's not working. Uh, mm -hmm. or the camera is not working, right? It's only the microphone. So that when something is, it has a, a problem, okay, that is not working properly, then you have, and then we can say, okay, we have my computer broke down. My computer microphone broke down. Thank you. Okay. What else? Any other word or phrase? How do you say Erin uh, I cough a fin a fin a fish? Uh, I cough where Mas abajo, uh, mas abajo. Uh, I, I, early, I, I, early early no 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 I cough I cough when I caught 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 is the past tense of catch catch yeah. Catch. Okay, the past tense of catch. Then it says, we got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I, I caught, caught, I a fish. caught a fish. Okay, so it's un pesque, right? Okay, uh, literalmente it would be agarré, right? Atrapé. But in Spanish we say, Pesque un pez, right? Like, I caught a fish. Okay? No pesque un pescado. What else? Another one? What is another one that we have? No more vocabulary? Okay, then listen again, and now just for the pronunciation, okay? Pay attention to the pronunciation. In this class, you'll, you'll develop skills in ES. We'll do this 
article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. So then it says, I had a very bad weekend. My smartphone was stolen and I lost my cell phone on the bus. Okay, so here, let me see. Now we are going to answer some questions. No. Wait a minute. Okay, so what is your weekend story then? We're gonna see this one again here. Just... Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skill weekend. Went to my best friend Helen. Okay, let me see. Eduardo Alas, can you please read this part mm -hmm. here? About Kelly. ¿Cuál parte? Disculpe. Todo. Uh, Kelly. Yes, Kelly. Okay. Okay. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen Squidding. She got married at home. All her friends and family were. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents activated a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her and really like her husband. Okay, very good. Now I will give you 10 minutes. Okay, you will have 10 minutes, okay, to write uh, a paragraph, similar, uh, some sentences, right, about a story that you will invent, okay? Similar to this, okay? So I will, I will take a picture and I will send it to your group so that you can have an idea, okay? There you go. Okay, then, then uh, you're gonna uh, create your own story about the weekend. For example, uh, I had a very nice weekend. Okay, I went to the uh, went to play soccer with my friends, and uh, we enjoyed a lot. Okay, we won the game 
because we played better. Okay? We scored eight goals and the other team only two. Okay? That's the, the idea here, right? Uh, let's see how many people we have. Okay, we're gonna have six groups, right? There you go. Ten minutes. One, two, three. Okay. Any questions? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, remember that what you have to do is aportar cada uno unas oraciones de lo que hicieron el fin de semana. Para hacer unas cinco o seis oraciones about five or six sentences about your weekend, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we had a nice weekend. We went to the beach. We ate uh, seafood. The seafood was very delicious. Only sentences in past tense. Okay? Y cuando okay. regresemos, y cuando regresemos al grupo, la van a leer. Okay? Solo, solo van a ser sentences, no van a ser una historia. No, no, sentences. Okay, we had, si ven la historia, prácticamente solo oraciones. Okay. Not, okay? Okay. All right. right. Good. Teacher. Yes. Okay, remember that you only have to make sentences, right? Mm -hmm. For example, uh, mm -hmm. last Saturday we went to we went to the park. Okay, we went. Okay. Uh, we had a picnic in the let's say in the we had a picnic with with our friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. listened to music. Then uh, we play volleyball in the park. We and then just activities that you do that you did in the park. Okay, only sentences in past tense. That's all you have to do. No problem. 
Yeah, tiene que ser día por día o se puede ser así. No, en, en general, weekend, una, una, una salida del fin de semana inventada. ¿Ok? Eh, salida o digamos, cualquier actividad. Bueno, ya había una salida, una salida a un lugar, ¿ok? And then that's the. the okay. okay, that's the one that you can use. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sí, would, like a uh, manera, would, W-O-O, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, we listen in some music from the wood fire. Uh -huh. We listen to music, song, we listen to some music from um, on the band, the band Queen. Yeah, for example. Yes, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, you can say you, we listen to Queen's music. We listen to some Queen's music. Uh -huh. Some Queen's music, yes. Some Queen's music with at the end S, apostrophe S. Queen's, yes. Queen's music. And any, any questions? And we, yeah, it's, it's correct to, to write. We do a wood fire. We we do a, a good fighter. Like we want to say in Spanish, fogata. Oh, we had. We had. We had, oh, we had we a, a campfire. Camp. Uh, camp camp campfire. 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 Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes. We have a campfire and uh -huh. we listen it of music. We listen to the... Queen's music. Uh-huh. Queen's music. Uh-huh. Yes. Queen's music. Then Excellent. and we talked about our dream. We talked about our dreams and see that. Okay. We we have right right there. We saw we saw the sunset in a group, mm -hmm. and it was an excellent experience. We felt so relaxed. Okay, that's it. And then that's it. okay, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Estamos inventando nuestro sábado que tuvimos, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Yo sí. eh, y, uh -huh. Banco Polio. Okay. Banco Polio. <laughs> okay, just, re uh -huh. just remember no. that what, what you have to do is only sentences, right? You don't have to... Uh, you, you don't have a conversation. Uh -huh. No, no. Okay, for example, uh -huh. things no. like... The things that you did, right? For example, okay, the, una salida que hicieron su imaginaria los tres, right? Mm -hmm. You went to, let's say, we went to, uh, we went to the beach, okay? Or we went to the, we went to the mall. We mm -hmm. went to the mall and then we, we went uh, to see the, we went shopping. Mm -hmm. After shopping, we had lunch in a nice restaurant. In that mm -hmm. restaurant, we listened to some nice music, uh, we had some drinks, and a very nice, uh, very delicious food, and like that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. After that, uh, Janet paid the the bill. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, she Janet invited everybody because she has a lot of money. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes the, the, the business is going up, you know. She's the business woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Nosotros lo hicimos, hicimos como una... Conversation. Una conversation. I had a wonderful of Saturday. Uh, uh, went to my friend Sandra and Vladimir. We really enjoyed it. We watched scary movies. We cook a pizza. We love pizza. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, then just remember using verbs in past tense and that's it. Now, we're okay. going to go back to the main station and ya lo van a leer todos, okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay.
here. Okay, good. Now, uh, Veronica, Vladimir, and Janet, please read the. Well, you did. You said that you you wrote a conversation, right? So the other probably have sentences, but no problem. If you have a conversation, read it. Tell us your conversation. Vero. Vero, Vero, Vero. Out oh, here. Veronica, Vladimir. Hello, hello. Okay. Go. Ah, lo digo. <laughs> yes, please. Sí, sí. Perdón, perdón. Okay. I had a wonderful Saturday. Went to my friend Sandra and Vladimir. We really enjoyed it. We watched scary movies. We cooked a pizza. We love pizza. Ah. <laughs> yes. You know who, who who made the pizza? Janet. Okay, Janet. Yes. Okay. Very good. And one dollar each piece, each slice. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now uh, Max and Rina. Okay. Who who talk? Noemi or Rina? Or me? I don't know. You choose. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna start. Okay. We had, we, had, we had a good day last weekend with some friends. Last Saturday, we went to the beach. After four months, we went to the beach with some friends. Oh, sorry. In the afternoon, we played soccer and we saw the sunset in a group. It was an excellent experience. We felt so relaxed and we listened to Queen's music. And we have a campfire. Okay, very good. Nice. Let like we say nice trip. Okay, that was a nice trip. Okay. Uh, nice trip. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Now the next one is uh, Eliel, Tatiana, and Jesenia. Jesse Carvajal. Hello. Hola. Okay. Uh -huh. Tatiana Aureliel. Who's going to Profe, read? Pero yo había entendido que leer las que teníamos. Uh -huh. Yes, the ones that you, but no from the, from the, the ones in the video. Mm -hmm. That's the one you have? No hicieron las suyas. Okay. No, no, yo eh, no, sería... no, eso. Ah, no, Esa no, no. Ah, okay. Well, okay, well, read the ones that you have. Practice, no problem. Read them. Podemos leer cualquiera de esas? Yes, one of those. Oh, choose one. Uh -huh. Choose one, yes. Okay. To Qué practice. Literary. Okay. I had a great weekend. I went to meet by... My best friend, Helen Willing, she got married at home. All I heard friends a family and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really really happy for her and really like her husband okay the idea is to practice the pronunciation right good then okay. now okay. let's see alan saba and santos teacher eh, yes nosotros le hicimos individual no, no, no le habíamos entendido okay but you can read well, you can read the three, no problem. Okay, yeah, okay, I start. Um, I have an interesting week because I work with my Sorry. family and the job is go to another city in the Salvador, almost is in town or Pueblo Vivos. Um, the weather almost is wonderful and cold. 
but today I have problem with my car because uh, we didn't um, problem with my car. Uh, we have to lend tools to people because we didn't the correct tools, but it was interesting and funny. Also, I was an important experience because I know that uh, I need tools in my car. Okay, very good. Nice. Uh, who else? Santos? Okay. I, I have a great weekend. I visited my family. I ate rods with rice. In the afternoon, I watched television. At night, we had pupusas. <laughs> okay, very good. I'm hungry now. Okay, and the next one? Uh, I, had, uh, mm -hmm. I had an awful weekend. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three or hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, your, our car broke down. I called my parents, parents and they came and got us. We finally got home and then this morning. I am so tired. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now we have Alejandro and Anester. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, we write a. Uh, mm, five. Five. Sentences. Okay. We had a great weekend. I went to the park with my family. I went to the beach with my co workers. My roommate and I went to a party. We cooked all the weekend. Wow, you were very busy, visiting three different places. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you, very good. And Eduardo Grisela and Osmaro, the last one. The Teacher, last one. You? Ah, you have yours too, okay. I, thought it I was went to the movie. In I went to the movie in Saturday. I, my roommate and I, and I went to a party. Uh, I went to the movie. In, um, I have to very nice weekend. And I have a very nice weekend. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Eduardo, Grisela, and, Car and Osumaro. Teacher, yo lo entendí mal. Uh, mm -hmm. Lo que hice fue tres preguntas usando el DIR. Ok, no pasa no, no, nada. Es ok, no te preocupes. ¿Did you go out in, on the weekend? Yes, I did. I went camping, a beautiful place. Okay. Did you have a fun? Yes, I did. I had a lot. Did you go with someone else? Yes, I did. My wife went with me. Ok, good. Anybody else? Hi. Yes, Osmaro. My weekend was great because I bought a hamburger and I watched several movies and ate fish with my family and went to bed early. Okay, good, nice. Grisela? Okay. I had an excellent weekend. I shared time with my family. My few visit use it was a great surprise. We cooked me for lunch. In the afternoon, we watched movies. Okay, very good. Okay, people, this is you know uh, you see how you have practiced your your verbs uh, in past tense. Okay, the ones that you remember. And, you know, this is one uh, tip to practice, right? Like a lot of you can use questions. It's good also to practice the structure and use sentences. Think about, an, think about the activities that you are going to do this weekend. And on Monday, you are going to tell me what you did individually 
uh, this weekend, okay? And the next week is the last one. Es la última semana, la otra. Eh, por favor, si tienen dudas o van atrasados con la plataforma, pónganse el día porque nos están pidiendo que les recordemos que hay que llenar la plataforma. Entre más rápido la llenen, más rápido va a comenzar el otro curso y podemos ir avanzando más, eh, digamos, con más rápido, pues, valga la, ahí la repetición. Entonces hay que estar, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, al día. Si tienen dudas, me lo hacen saber para que el lunes ya estén al día con la plataforma. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, guys. Have a nice, have a nice weekend. See you on... Ajá. Este, disculpe la molestia. Nunca he buscado yo la, las clases de YouTube, en YouTube, pero la clase de antier me la perdí. Quiero verla. ¿Dónde la busco? La busco en la plataforma. Ah, eh, no, es la que se, vemos acá está en una, un playlist. Ahí tiene un link este, en el correo. Si no, eh, sí, en su correo que le mandaron está el link. Si no, pues me lo... Ay, ajá. Si no, yo lo busco ahí en el WhatsApp y se lo mando. Ajá, okay. porque nunca le he ocupado, no, todavía no sabía, no me había fijado en eso. Muy excelente, okay. teacher. Perfect. No problem, excelente. no problem. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night, bye bye. bye, bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.